Hello guys, my name is Fox and welcome to part 120 of our Crusader Kings 2, West African Merchant Revival series. Let's continue. So, in the previous episode, we've been doing some more wars. In this area, if I remember correctly, we got this piece of land, took some land from Aquitaine, also, uh, just for fun, we just burned down their only one last province, and they're not happy about it. Oh, they're also actually sieging one, one of my provinces. Because we're hostile to them, so let's go and stop it from happening. Yeah, go away, Aquitaine. You're not welcome in here. And we lost our steward. Let's go and get a new one. For some taxes, even though we're not even using it. Actually, we could probably start researching economy tech. Considering the amount of money we have right now. Just a couple more children. Needs educators. As well as my son. My son is going to vassals, as always. Egypt, Croatia. Egypt probably need to like me for a hundred percent. This stuff you could create does not matter so much. Especially the Kingdom of Mali. So, yeah, and I've been thinking about who should we take next. I'm uh, upset about me not having much Vassal limit. I want to completely destroy Akin, but a little bit too far away from that. He still like have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like eight more duchies. So it it means at least eight more wars because I couldn't really declare any wars bigger than a duchy war. So yeah, and we have a truce with Aquitaine. We have a truce with France. Oh, now we have a border with Norgia, right? Could declare a war for, uh, for them if you want so. Friends, or should I start like breaking the truces uh, left and right? Considering our health, or considering our age, or 75, what would happen if I were to break the truce with you? Uh huh. Opinion of Krush uh, Christians doesn't matter. Five thousand prestige. We have tons of prestige. Uh, truce breaker minus five diplomacy for five years. That's like nothing. Okay, Aquitaine, we're gonna break the truce with you. I want this kingdom for myself. Uh, so, oh, one more son in here. This legitimized bastard. Oh, that's cool. So, Egypt, Burgundy, Nubia, or Croatia? Uh, Croatia. So, Avern. Oh, you're actually defending against... Oh! Attacking king uh, in some war for Aquitaine. So, my vassals actually decided to declare a war on him. And he's losing it quite heavily. So, actually, I don't even need to attack him myself. That's pretty great. So, we're just gonna let these guys uh, finish the sieges. And it's not gonna be a pretty hard problem, or pretty big problem for them, considering that they already burned this holding completely. So, I'm just gonna move these troops closer to Akin, then wait for my people to finish the war with Aquitaine. That means that the kingdom of Aquitaine should disappear, and I'm gonna be able to create it, combine some duchess underneath it, and it's gonna uh, decrease my vassal limit. Also, Aquitaine, where are you getting these troops from again? Let's go and try to land, yeah, trend my, uh, or land my troops in Aquitaine. Or try to move them at least here to scare him off. And yeah, go and destroy the army of Aquitaine. They're, just don't let them, uh, don't let them touch my vassals. While they're declaring such a useful war. So, 60% in favor of this guy, 0% in your favor. Invasion of Navarra doesn't matter, but yeah, this thing is Talusian Conquest of Avern. This is uh, Gave Dunen Holy War for Avern. And why are you not sieging yet? He only have like 185 garrison in there, and it's still taking you like a stupid, uh, stupid amount of time. Are you sieging at all, or are you just pillaging it? I have no idea. Okay, we have another one, Kinsman. 
Oh, let's go and give you this woman. So yeah, I'm just gonna wait for these guys if they're gonna finish the war or if they're gonna take this lands at all. This trebuchet uh, should be like uh, pointing that these province are actually being sieged right now. So I hope that that's that is what happening. I don't think there's any other way for me to look at it. Yeah, I'm gonna give them like a couple of months and if they're not gonna siege anything, I'm just gonna break the truce also. Where is this stupid peasant revolt? Oh, why you decided to race right near my capital? Revolt risk from what? Complain about the arbitrary steward, really? Really? Hmm. Okay, 600, 6600 against your 59. That's a little bit too small. What if I were to raise the army of Africa somewhere here? That should be better. So you guys go combine here. And we're gonna go and crush this revolt. So, and how's your war score against this guy? 58%. 2% in here. Okay, come on guys, let's go to the speed 4, we're not doing much right now. Because that shouldn't be... Shouldn't be a terrible idea also. Who are you fighting with in here? Just an internal war, okay. So, any sieges? Anything? Attacking. <laughs> and no. Okay, so, now it's officially sieged by Republic of Talus. 69% war score, that's great. So, great, you're gonna finish, you're gonna take this province soon, okay. That means that I wouldn't need to break the truce, at least right now, so I am happy about that. Because if I could avoid it, probably gonna be better for me to avoid it. Also, why the hell I am... A in on charge of this army. How the hell you uh, how the hell you could uh, get someone who is seventy five years old on the charge of army? It's probably gonna be a terrible idea. I don't even think that you as I could really ride a horse in a such age. So some more kinswomen, some more sons Talking about sons, we need to check our to check our trade po uh, trade post limit. Let's go and do this. Thirty nine. Okay, but we're close to actually getting some more. Invite to court. You are still refusing. You are idiot. Come on, Talus, take this shit. Why are you even declaring a war on that if it's not the sure part of? any of your lands, it's just a conquest. That's not supposed to be like this. I hope that I will, would actually be able to create the Dutch of Avern. Actually still gonna be able to do this. But uh, Talus and Avern gonna have some problems. Because one gonna have the sure lands of other, but oh well. Also we have tons of money we need to, we need to spend. We could build a trade post or a port in our capital, let's go and do this. Let's go build something in Genoa. City shipyard. Okay. Let's go build something in nearby uh, nearby province of our capital, like training grounds. Well, that should be fine for now. Also, a couple more weak claims. Steinmark we already checked. Claim Navarra. Oh, we already have a truce. I already have a truce with uh, friends, so it doesn't matter. We have a weak claim on the Dutch of Navarra. That's good for you. Also, we could claim some stuff from Abyssinia, but we also have a truce with him. And that's all for Abyssinia. Okay. Not going to happen. So, are you sieging this sink at all? Yes, you are. 92%. Go and surrender, please. My concubine Jenba tells me she's pregnant, but he can't be right. Oh, so you have a lover. 
I don't care as long as this son, uh, as this person, hopefully son, gonna be considered as mine. I'm not gonna be upset for someone to find out. No, I trust her word. Just give me the baby. And it should be a male. Or if it's not gonna be a male, I would be upset actually. Capture some guys. Oh, Impaler. Did we have this... Did we have this uh, modifier before? In the game? I have no idea. But Mecha, why the you decided to raise your troops? While this army of the peasants been arriving this? That was a stupid uh, decision, but okay. So how's our retinues? We have some more retinue limit again. So actually, uh, now that I'm thinking about the war with Akin, let's go and uh, build up our force limit to the max again. Because some more troops, uh, some more troops for the war with Akin not going to be a terrible idea. And yeah, we already decided that the next target for me is going to be the Dutch of uh, not Castile, I guess, or is it Castile? It is. Yeah, for four provinces in here. Okay, so, Toulouse, you need like one more siege and you're gonna be able to easily finish this war, I guess. Also, how's our new concubine who we just got from prison? She's not willing to sleep with me at all. That's not great. Why are you hating me? Infidel, foreigner, short train, up doctor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is your content. Could I set, send you some money? I have tons. Yeah. Go take this. Buy yourself something fancy. <clears throat> I have tons of these gold coins. Actually, now that we <laughs> added these retinues, we're probably gonna start losing them. Or losing the money quite... Uh, quite quickly. Or maybe not. Okay. So, trade post limits. Oh, we actually lost one. Okay. That's unfortunate. And these guys need to go away. They are annoying. Oh! Sunk high and decided to help me. Great. Some more pillagers all the way around. Actually, talking about pillagers, that's what I should be uh, scared of. Oh, we are dead. At the age of 76, natural death. Yeah, that's kinda expected. <clears throat> so now we are playing as this guy. And you have no wife, no concubines, and no children because you were, uh, you were in the freaking how you call them, spirit gardens all your life. Okay, that's not great at all. Let's go find you a wife. Someone probably with decent stewardship, like this one. Hundred gold sounds great. Pick a character. It's gonna be family again. Over vassal limit, ruler unmarried. Some of it gonna go away soon, I hope. Prestige or gold? In this case, I guess prestige gonna be a little bit more useful. And ambition, I guess having a son wouldn't be terrible. Also, concubines. Could we invite some more women to court? Mm, no. They're too expensive. Also, we do not inherit any money from you. You're so awful. Why is our vassal limit so low? Previous one had 42 and you only have 41. Probably because your stewardship is terrible. Okay, let's go and look for some women in here. Your mind is touched, even though you're in our prison, doesn't matter. Someone else, Grey Eminence. Let's take... Oh, mind is touched but chased. Nope. Grey Eminence in here. And... Who else? This one might have touched. Great! All the... All the wind from prison going straight to my chambers. What the hell am I gonna be doing with this vassal limit? Come on, Talus, finish your stupid war quickly. I'm gonna be able to... Uh, to create the Dutch of 
for the kingdom of Aquitaine and get rid of my vassal problems for now. So let's go disband these guys. No more pillagers in here looks like. Or is there some more? Son was born, great. And the dangerous factions. Oh! Why all of a sudden you decided to declare an independence faction? If I have so much retinues. Huh? Why are you hating me so much? Okay, time to spend some money on the on the kings. 300 gold for you. Sounds... Actually, it was a terrible price. But it's already too late. And Africa. We need to... Actually, you are not the part of the faction, right? No, you're still the part of the faction. You're a bastard. And Croatia. Let's go and improve relations with Africa. And try to scheme in Croatia. That should be better. If Italy gonna leave the faction, it's actually gonna help quite a lot. Talus, finish the war, please. Probably have 99% because I had none non battles. Oh! We could usurp the Dutch of Paito. That's actually gonna help, really. So hmm, minus eleven, nine, minus one, minus one. Okay. So you're gonna get Republic of Paito. And now no problems with vassal limits again. Great. That's really useful. And else we could usurp? Probably not. Some de jure claims we haven't here. 93%. Guys. Stop with this bullshit. Please. I don't like it. I don't like when you're trying to freaking rebel. Also, why is our retinue is replenishing so slowly? I have no idea. Huh. What does this guy need to, like, wait... Five years or whatever the number is to finish this war because he have no troops to fight with. Probably yes, or maybe no. This guy just surrendered right now. Great. So now I should be officially able to. Uh, oh, why are you? Oh, never mind. Yeah, you're the vassal underneath me. I could create this duchy. They probably gonna do this. I'm gonna give it to this guy. Uh, Republic of Avern. And then we're gonna create the Kingdom of Aquitaine. And who's gonna receive it? Let's go and look for the jure titles in here, so. Like this. Have a couple of guys in here, so. 16. 6. Minus 20. 66. This is a part of France. How much duchess do you have? De jure? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Which one I missed? This one. 6. Okay, so looks like you're probably gonna receive the one. And so you're hating me a little bit, but for granted Dutch you're gonna be happy. Okay. Go and get most certain Republic of Aquitaine. And now vassal limits are not a problem at all. That's great. Another one peasant revolt. We just had one. What the hell are you doing, people? Also, a lot of these guys are... Oh yeah, it's just republic. So if I were to have one kingdom in here, I wouldn't need to deal with all these little duchess being the part of the factions. I would just need to please one king and that would be a lot easier. Than this. Uh, why I can't have any more ambitions for having a son? I don't know, but okay, I must wealth, I guess. Uh, yeah, where is this uprising again? This time in Italy. Could we raise Italian army? 3k only. Hmm. What about the Burgundy? Why are you giving me so few troops? 
Okay. You guys are gonna combine in Italian capital. And then we're gonna go and deal with these peasants. And my concubine is pregnant. Cool. But it's actually already a time for me to have a break, guys. So, I'm gonna be doing it right now. And in the next episode, hopefully, I'm gonna be declaring a war on a king. And trying to make them a little bit smaller. So, yeah. If you enjoyed watching this, you could leave a like. If you want to see more, you could subscribe. And if you want to leave a comment, you should definitely do it. And I will answer you as soon as I could. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.